Well, I tell you one thing, one of these days I would love to do a series of videos on this Jeep. I'm struggling to get it back on the road at the moment. I've been fighting the immobiliser, which I just got going, and now it seems to have a fuel issue. Um, I don't really know exactly what the problem is. I kind of just put it on hold for now. It was running fine for weeks. And then as soon as I booked in an MOT, came to start it to take it down and then it wouldn't go. So kind of disheartened with that. So that'll be for another day when I have motivation for it. It's not pressing. On the other hand, this beat up old van is the focus of my attention at the moment. Gonna do a little bit of bodywork to it. Not 100% sure whether I'm gonna keep it or not, but um, my favorite thing about this van is that it has this wicked axe wound here and it literally goes straight through the skin. This panel here is pretty mashed up. Um, so I may take care of that. This is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and bring the bodywork back to new. I'm just gonna make it look slightly more presentable than what it does now. It looks really bad. It actually looks better because I've just given it a little bit of washing down. But even the front is very much washed out. You can see it just here where it's starting to dry. You can see the colour it goes, it's like a real reddish nasty colour. Lots of like little dings and bits have been smashed up on this. So my plan for this really, I need to clean it really really well and then key it up. And then I'm just going to put a single, well obviously I think I might have to etch prime a few bits where it's gone through to bare metal. This wing here has clearly been painted at some point, it's different to the rest of the car. And you can see all, all of this, all of this bubbling patina. You can see where it's all worn through, where it's such a thin coat. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong actually, it could just be something else has gone wrong. I mean this just looks like classic classic um you know pulled pulled spray where you hold the spray in one place for too long and it starts to pick up and bubble or contamination underneath makes it bubble as well so it needs a fair bit of work i have to etch prime that and then high build prime that in a few places but my my real plan is to do as minimum amount of prep as possible and then just chuck on a, a single stage enamel paint it's basically the same sort of paint that they paint diggers and tractors in um, it's pretty hard wearing stuff, but you, it, you, you can tell that it's thick, even though you get that glossy finish, you can tell it's a thick paint. It doesn't look as neat as a, um, like a, a primed base coat and then lacquered finish, you know, like a nice 2K clear coat. So, but I'm not really that fussed about that. My real plan with this is just to make it look a little more presentable than what it is. And I'm going to take you along for part of the journey. I've resprayed a few cars, but I wouldn't say that I'm an expert. I did work professionally in a spray booth, so I can spray pretty well. However, doing body work on cars, is, especially panel beating, is an art in itself. And you often find that you'll end up with panel beaters and they do all the hard work. And then you just end up with a monkey in the spray booth just spraying stuff. I know people will call me out on that because it's, you can still mess up a spray job, you know, if you don't really know what you're doing. Um, but in my opinion, spraying is the easiest part of uh, repainting a car or a van. Hardest part, as they say, is the prep. Um, and that, that's for a number of reasons, because you need to have multi, you need to be multi-skilled. It's not just sanding it down and chucking some filler in it. It takes a little bit more than that. So I will give that my best shot, as good as I can and hopefully this will come out nice. I've never put so much waffle at the beginning of a video before. Right, this roof is filthy, so I'm gonna clean it. Simple as that, it's absolutely gross up here. So I'm gonna scrub all that off. Well, I did plan on taking a little bit more video, but then in the end I didn't. I resprayed the bottom of my van, dealt with some rust issues, and rather than try and colour match 20 year old white 
I just decided to go with something completely different. And then over here we have the Peugeot. Which has come out pretty nice. It looks a lot tidier than it did before. Paint job isn't perfect and it's not out of polish yet. And as you can see, as the light catches it just right, it didn't take out all of the dents. But it looks a darn sight better. And the back door, again, I didn't pull out all of the dents. But I'm sure you can tell from what it was like before. That's loads better. Same down this side here. Once this paint's had a good polish to remove some of the remove some of that orange peeling, this van will shine up real nice. With enamel paint, you have to wait for a little bit longer before you can polish. You can't just uh, polish it like a day after. You got to give it like a week really to harden. It sort of stays quite soft for quite a while. So yeah, it's not a. I don't think I would ever do a how-to on how to paint, but I just thought it might encourage some people to have a go and do some bodywork repairs yourself. Um, the main reason being is that I, I did all of this in the middle of a field, basically. No kiln, no specialist LEV extraction, just a good quality dust mask, a compressor, and a spray gun, and that was it. You can also see just on this back panel here, see all those dents and stuff and a lot of those have been popped in from the inside. I don't want to mess with them too much because the more that you panel beat, especially if you're not very good at it like me, the more likely you are to make the metal quite thin, possibly even, even break it, which wouldn't be good. But I'm pretty happy with how it came out, it looks quite nice, it's definitely tidied it up compared to compared to what it was before. If you do happen to know a thing or two about painting cars and painting vans, then um, leave, a, leave a comment, because somebody watching this might find it helpful. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching.